Hey guys, what I'm about to say to you may come as a little bit of a shock. So much of a shock that you may want to sit down. In fact, I think I'll sit down myself. I already am. Okay, okay. This year, on my next birthday, I will turn 40. Ouch. How did that happen? And like any guy at this halfway point of life, I'm having myself a little old midlife crisis because I'm thinking of getting a tattoo. <laughs> hear you all right now shouting why you're just like my mom but i do want a tattoo why well, why do they have cave paintings why are there artifacts from uh, egyptian times or uh, mayan zincas etc they made those things they say here's who we are here's who we are it represents what we're all about and i just want to do the same when i look back and say here's uh, what i was at the time one of my friends says, do you really want a tattoo in an old folks home when you're 90? I said, yeah, that's not the problem. The problem is I don't want to have the same tattoo as the guy sitting next to me, you know, Celtic band or uh, words in Japanese or whatever. I want something unique to me, something that represents just me. Only I can have. I thought really hard about like maybe my favorite memory, something that's really important to me before I was 40. I looked at my skin. I looked here on my arm and thought, what do I want here that represents me? And then I realized, I already have it. I already have a tattoo that reminds me of my best memories, fondest memories, people, people that have met my life. Mm -hmm. Do I really need a tattoo to remind me of all the good times? When I can just look at my arm right here, and think back to the girl who touched my arm at the full moon party in Koh Phangan, 2006 in Thailand and asked me my name. I won't tell you what happened next. <coughs> but we had some great times. I won't... <laughs>